Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 11 beta 6 has actually been pretty good for me. Public beta 5, developer beta 6 are basically the same thing. They just release them in different build numbers. Now this particular build has been really solid for me. It hasn't been for everyone, seeing how a lot of you have posted on my comments of the last video that sometimes it was crashing when you would go into control center and do different things, 3D touch on things, it would crash. I don't seem to have those issues. Everything is very smooth and fluid. Although I do think some of the animations are slowed down. Someone mentioned that as well. Uh, but it seems to be responding nice and fast all the time. I haven't had to reboot it at all, not even once, so that's really nice. And last time when I did the Beta 5 follow-up, I actually, right after it, had to reboot it. So far this time, I haven't rebooted it at all. It's been nice, fast, and fluid, and the best part is battery has been really solid for me. Now, I normally plug this in in the morning and in the evening whenever I'm in my car driving around. It's plugged in and I'm using Apple CarPlay, and so the battery may not be exactly what it is, but let me scroll down here and show you what it is so far just being plugged in for about 30 minutes each of those times. So I've had six hours of usage in 41 minutes, 13 hours of standby, or 13 and a half hours of standby, and we're at 61%. I would say, honestly, I'd probably be closer to 30%, but it was unplugged at about 6.30 a.m. this morning, and it's 9.30 almost p.m. right now. So it's, it's really doing okay. And actually, mail and YouTube and the App Store were a good amount. Downloading, because I had low signal, took a little bit more power, and it's actually showing me that, so that, that's nice to note. But it's been really solid and very good, and there's been a couple different things that have been discovered about this beta that people didn't know before, or I didn't mention anyway, and I wanted to share that with you. One thing that's recently been discovered is if you use the SOS feature, that means you push this button five times really fast, it brings you to this screen. Now you can do a couple different things, have an emergency SOS call to whoever your contact is, see your medical ID or power it off. But one thing to note is that you can quickly disable touch ID. So that won't work. So if I do this and use touch ID, I have to put my password in again in order to go to the next screen. So let me do that. Once my password is in, Everything will work fine. I can lock it again and Touch ID works again. But if I want to lock it so that maybe I have an emergency, I don't want to put my thumb down, uh, we can hit this five more times again, hit cancel. And again, I can't get in unless I actually put in my passcode again. So that's a nice little feature. Before we had to reboot the phone or wait a certain amount of time before we got that. So it's an extra little layer of security. One other thing to know is people are always asking, how can I hide my apps? And they've actually updated that in this beta. It seems I haven't seen this before, and you were able to do this a little bit before, depending if you had family sharing on or not, but it seems like it's a universal thing now. So if you go into your app store, and you go into where your purchases are, so that's normally under your little icon there, go into your purchases. Once you're in your purchases, just slide, hit hide you can't delete them but you can hide them and we knew this a little bit before i did a video on it before and you can actually just hide them and get rid of them or, or that way so if you want to get rid of them that way and hide them you can but you can't permanently delete them so far there's never been a way to do that but those are a couple new features that i thought i'd point out that especially that that sos lock one is really handy but this has been really solid for me. I haven't had any issues and just wanted to share that with you. Let me know your thoughts, though, in the comments below how it's been for you. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.